your brothers and sisters in Christ. Are you ready? We always want to be ready for something. Maybe you have this nightmare of you're supposed to be ready for this test. You wake up and you're not. You're late. You weren't prepared. The clothes you had are gone. You're, and you just can't seem to find how to get there on time. You're running. You're scrambling. It just, just doesn't seem it's working out. And then you wake up. And you realize it was just a dream or a nightmare, really. We always want to be ready for every situation. In fact, when we find ourselves unprepared, we almost feel embarrassed, but there's a lot in our lives that we can't possibly be prepared for. We can't be prepared for that sudden moment of tragedy that hits you without, without warning. You can't be prepared for how the weather changes, even if you look at the weather report. You can't be prepared for how people are going to react. Even if you try, you still have really no idea. And maybe when it comes to Jesus coming again, maybe we feel like it's impossible to be prepared. I mean, again, we don't know when he is going to come. Jesus likens it to a thief in the night. You can't predict when your house is going to be broken into, much less you can't predict when Jesus is going to return. And so maybe you might have thought to yourself, well, I can't be ready, I won't be prepared. But then God's Word tells you, you need to be ready, you need to be prepared, because if you're not, you might be left out. And that's terrifying. Because we know the alternative, don't we? We know that it's hell. And we know that wherever we go, heaven or hell, it's permanent. It's not going to change. There is no second chances. That's a lot of stress, thinking about the last day, Jesus' return, being prepared. So then how can we be ready if we don't know what day or hour or minute or second Jesus will return? Our God shows us. He shows us by, through His Word. He reminds us throughout His Word that when we focus on what it means for Jesus to come back, we will always be ready, even though we will never know the day. We'll never be able to look at all of God's Word, look at all the numbers or different ways God speaks, and figure out somehow, some way, when Jesus is going to return. But when our focus is on Jesus... When we focus in on His Word, we will be ready. Because we will know why Jesus is coming back. We won't be afraid to stand before Jesus because we will know that our sins are forgiven. When we look at God's Word, we will be reminded of why Jesus came the first time. He came to save us from our sins. And because Jesus did all that work, because He took our place, and in exchange for taking away our sins, He gave us His holiness, we already know what God's verdict is going to be. It's going to be, you are saved. You are home. And that's the best message we could ever receive on any day. And God did that all for you. So how can we be in the Word? Yes, be at worship. Yes, join in Bible study. But don't let those be the only avenue of you being in the Word. Feed yourself daily like you feed your body, feed your soul. Feed your soul God's Word. Whether that's through a devotional book, reading the Bible on your own, or gathering as a family to discuss what God has done for us and what that means for us today. Whatever you decide to do to put yourself in God's Word, do it. And keep doing it. Make it a habit. Make it a practice. Make that the one thing you know you are going to get done today. And as you do that, God's promise to you is this. 
your faith will strengthen. You will see clearly, especially about that last day, because you will be ready. While we don't know when Jesus is going to return, we know that He will. And being ready just means knowing that what's going to happen when He returns, as far as His judgment for you. And what is God's judgment for you? You are a bought back, redeemed child of God. Not with gold or silver, but with Jesus' holy, precious blood and His innocent suffering and death. And because He died and rose, you too will rise again. You too will live with Him because His inheritance has been given to you. You are a child of God. You belong to God. He's watching out for you, ruling all things for your good. And He has a home waiting for you. We can't wait for that day. We can't wait to hear that verdict. But until then, let's stay ready. Let's study God's Word together. Let's hear what God has to say so that we never lose focus on what that verdict will ultimately be for you and me. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank You for making our verdict clear to us through Your Word. Thank You for showing us that we are saved, forgiven, because of Your Son, Jesus Christ. Ultimately, it is because of You and only You that we are saved. And so may we always keep our focus on You so that we never forget it. Help us to always remember that we are saved and that when Jesus returns again, we are going home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless your day.